Thank you, our fellow crafters, and welcome back to the Origami Workshop presented by Running Me Crafts. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to make an origami heart. This is a quick and easy project to make. In fact, it's so easy, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you right now. So, first of all, you need origami paper, 15 by 15 centimetres. And first step, we're going to fold this corner to that corner, like so. So, as for, if you've been watching previous episodes of this series, be sure to make sure that each edge matches with each fold. There we go, that's the first one, and just repeat on this one to this one. There we go, that's our first our first two folds of the project. Next step, turn your paper like so. So it now so it's now a diamond rather than a rather than a square. And the next fold we fold this this top part of our diamond. We're going to fold it down. We're going to fold it over like this. So the point hits it's here. We'll just give you a close look. You see where the you see where the folds are, the vertical and horizontal lines on the first step. So what that what that point to hit there. So we'll get our folds just right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's spot on. So next next one is to fold this this top part part the bottom part of the diamond. Oh, sorry, the bottom part. And we're going to fold that up and what we're aiming for is that the top part of that um, the, the bottom part of the the diamond we want that to just overlap the top of that edge so let's give you a closer look so as you fold it up you want a, a very small triangle just at the top that's just gonna that's just gonna overlap just a little bit then just smooth out the edge at the bottom there and right so we're three steps in it's coming along rather well. Now it's time to move on to the next because now the heart's really going to start to take shape. So this so this part here, this folded section here, we're going to we're going to fold that up like that. And what we're aiming for is to see there's a there's a very you see the shallow there's a very tiny you see on the camera here, it's a very shallow fold just going up the middle there now that's where we're going to aim for when we fold this up so it meets that sensor that sensor line there we just fold we just run your finger across that edge then repeat that on the left so yeah edge is a little bit yeah it's a little bit on neat there but it's, um there we are it all lines up so you can see the you can see now the heart is starting to really start to take shape now if you're sort of if you're sort of new to what if you're sort of new to origami um this might not look like much of a heart it might look like a, a funny shaped kite or a or a spaceship from some science fiction comic but bear with us if you are new to the origami world this uh, this will look like a heart by the time we're done Okay, so next step, turn over. So tidy those edges up a little bit. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this triangle here. We're going to fold that down so it meets this edge like that. Let's give a close look. So my fingers run away. So. So that's what we're aiming for. So triangle folds over, and we're going to that point will meet that edge there, and we're going to repeat that that step as well on the right hand side. And this is where the heart will really start to take shape. Yeah, it's really starting to take shape now. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. 
Now the good thing about this origami whole activity is this can also be used as a extra part on different projects such as you know, greetings cards, pictures, um, gift boxes. The list, the list really goes on for, for light years what you can of what you can add this to and I will be showing you how to use this in on greetings cards in a later in a later episode of the main series of our main series of tutorials so obviously stay tuned for that. So just coming off the last the last step now is this uh, is to fold in these triangle edges here on the on the left and right hand side. I'm just going to fold those in. Don't worry about aiming for any sides or, or edges this time because it will just the top of it will naturally will naturally fold to that to that part anyway. So that will that will give the heart its shape. So we turn it over one more time and just tidy you know, just tidy that middle here, yeah, just tidy it up a little bit and and there we have it. Congratulations, you've made your very first origami heart. So you can never step closer to becoming an origami master. And now you can give the, now you can give your origami heart to someone special, a friend, a family, a loved one. Or you can put it on a greetings card, put it on a picture. Yeah, you know, there's all yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do here. You can do with that origami heart. Even write a message on it. Write a message on the inside. Yeah, go. Yeah, really go to town. There's no yeah, there's no limits in craft and what you can do. So that's yep. Yeah, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a like. If you haven't already already subscribed, by all means, by all means, sign up. Doesn't cost anything to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget if you do see me as and when you do subscribe, also click the notification bell. Well, so you can get four as you'll get updates and notifications of when the latest videos are being are being released on the channel. Also, don't forget you also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Handles are coming up at the end of the video. Also, you can also follow us on Patreon as well, it helps support our work in the community. And also, if you are if you are if you are viewers in the UK, you can also join us uh, join our group on nextdoor.org, where you can shop and learn with us. Just search Running Me Crafts on nextdoor.org. Ask to join the group, and we'll let you in. But last but definitely not least, you can also shop with us as well on our website www.runningmecrafts.com. Just click the link for the online store on the homepage, and you can also access this channel and our social media. There are channels from the website as well. So once again, thank you for thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay crafty and sign aura.